Good afternoon, students. At the outset, I will give my own introduction. I am Professor Bharti Chatterjee. I am former Dean of Assam University. And I am retired person at the moment who is connected with many universities, including your own university. So, I have been asked today to address you on one topic, that is reporting. You are very familiar with this word and you have come across many reporters working on duty and it, it appears to be very lucrative and very interesting job for you. Many of you, I hope that we will become reporter and join newspapers or join television and will start your own work as reporter. I have been reporter myself for more than 35 years. I started as reporter, I ended as special correspondent and then I switched over to media academic. But now, uh, this is a very huge subject but I will only deal with one chapter which is quite uh, in conformity with your syllabus. The unit number 3, you please consult unit number 3, you will find that the concept of reporter chapter. Now, first of all, concept means that what is it, what is inside, what is what does it mean? The concept of reporter's job is firstly to collect information. That I am especially I am talking about the print media. Already it is both applicable for television media. But I am really concerned with print media that the job of a print media reporter is to gather or collect information for the next test paper. And information, from where you will get information? Information you will get from everywhere. That is why it is called North, East, South, West News. That is, you can get, you can get information from anywhere, but there are bits especially bits. It, 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 is, it is not that beyond the bits one cannot cover. But bits are somewhat some routine jobs from where the reporters go every day and they bring it. So it, it may be secretariat, it may be police beat, it may be education beat, it may be, it may be commerce beat. So there are many areas where the reporters go from where they can get information for the consumption of the masses. That is called mass communication because you are you are you are imparting information with the masses. Now, now the fact is that how other ways of getting information and news, another one, another info, uh, 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 modus operandi in is interviewing. Uh, reporting is basically interviewing. Sometimes your news source will give you news and you will get the news, you will write down and you will edit that news and you will print, print it for the next newspaper. But there are interviews. Interviews means basically if you want to go somewhere to collect news, you have to ask questions. That questions must be handy and must be with you. You will be ever ready with those information. What do you want to ask? And if it is exclusive news, if it is, if it is uh, any news for your uh, personal uh, inquiry, due to personal inquiry, that is called exclusive news, means that the news which you gather yourself, and which nobody gets that, and only you, you, uh, you are the person who can gather the news, and that is called exclusive news. So every newspaper reporter are interested all the time to get exclusive news so that their rival newspapers do not get the same news. So he, he wants that something exclusive which, which his newspaper will publish and all other. So that is his pride, that exclusive news. And a newspaper, as many as exclusive news can, can focus, will get a completely a privilege or a, or a bonus that in the in, in newspaper market and among the reporters also. So, and you can ask me one question, sir, that uh, what is the scoop? Because we are very much familiar with this word scoop. And scoop and what is the difference between scoop and exclusive news? 
Now, exclusive can be any news, any amount of news, it may not be so much sensational. Any, any information which you can bring for yourself, uh, for your own paper, that is called exclusive news. But scoop is something which is sensational, which shakes the world. Now, take for instance the first uh, uh, scoop I, I have heard, that is from my uh, elder colleague, that application of Edward the Eighth in England. The, he, for whom the entire world, he covered the Indian journalist for Amrit Bazar Patrika, which is Sundar Kamadi, he covered that news. Now, that is, is, that is scoop. The scoop means which you, yes, the very, very secret news to fill it out. And I can, I can remember in my own life, as I have done many, many scoop stories, and one of them, I missed it because you are familiar with those persons, that's why I am remembering that the marriage of, secret marriage of Saurabh Kaguri, the cricketer, Captain Cricketer, he, so he married secret with his uh, fiancé and no, nobody knew it. Even the, even the father of Saurabh Kaguri did not know it. So I got this news and it, it came by accident, but however I got this news and I I, I published in my paper, which I used to edit at the time. So this is called scoop. And another scoop I met is Sobas, Gary Sobas, the uh, West Indies uh, captain. He also engaged him, uh, secretly with Anju Mahindra, a one uh, clever girl of the time. So these two, 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 two uh, scoops I can uh, cite, for instance, that I scooped in my life. So there are no there are others, but I am not going to touch. I am just giving you some idea that what scoop is, that if scoop depends on your luck, it depends on your uh, exuberance, depends on your uh, entire um, uh, hard labor and also your tenacity. They are, and by luck, sheer luck, last but not the least. So you can get this. Now, <coughs> no newspaper can say that I will make the scoop every day. No, it, it comes all of a sudden and it may, it, it may happen to anybody. Now, another thing is that uh, the reporters work for television too. You have seen on television screen that reporters are going somewhere and interviewing people. They can, you see, in television uh, reporting, interview is must. So one must interview one person and uh, because it is a dialogue. Because otherwise, it, 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 just, it becomes quite meaningless that we are tired. So the interviews and gets the news. Now again, again for press services. Now the all the all the news you get from news press services like PTI, Press Trust of India, UNI, United uh, News of India, and Reuters, AP, also all those international international news agencies are there, national news agencies are there. There they get news with the same method. They are reporters, they are also they are out every day and they gather information. Instead of giving exclusively for their own newspaper, they give it for their agency. And agency distribute it among the among their clients. So all newspapers who are their clients, the every day, 24 hours, their news is being supplied to them. So this is the another system. And even Besides the reporting, besides newspaper, news is required for public relations too. But that news is not for consumption of all the people, it is consumption for the managing directors or higher up in the corporate body. But another thing that they have got trade journals. And the trade journals for each corporate uh, uh, companies, they also uh, need they also need news and the public relations officers, they gather news from their own own uh, institutions, from their own com company units, different units, and they publish news. And they gather news and they publish on it. So the news gathering is very much necessary for, not only for the reporters, not only for the newspapers, not only for the televisions, but for all media, engaged in distributing information to the people. Now, again, another thing is that these uh, 
what you can ask him, he even does a question, who can be coming? This, uh, the objective of this course, which you are one of the participants, is to make you a full fledged journalist. To journalist, you will become by dint of your uh, training, by dint of your education, you gather. From, from from the Christian start method. Now, if you want to become reporter, you can you can choose. You can if you want to, to you, you can become a reporter. You can become a sub editor. You can become an assistant editor, or you can join any other medium. Then can choose and pick up and choose your own choiceable career in media. But if you want to become reporter newspaper reporter or television reporter, there are certain criteria you have to fulfill. And if you know from right now that what are those criteria, it will be very convenient for you to become a reporter, to master that subject only. And this is not only one or two criteria, but there are a, a long list of criteria you have to fulfill. It is where the, your university degree is not only exclusive necessity. You may have basic qualification. You may have you you may have graduation in in journalism subject must complication, but it is not only the subject, the education will not land you somewhere in the proper place, in the right place. You have to earn those capacity, earn those education, earn those capability of yourself by dint of your merit, by dint of your perseverance, by dint of, dint of your very arduous hard training. Now I am telling you one by one, that first of all that you have to gather new science. That is why your, your training is very much necessary. This what is new science. What is news and what is not news? You have said, you have uh, already read in several chapter about the news sense. I only in one line I will tell you that news sense is that is like a tea tester. Just tea, a tea tester. You know there are there are uh, a number of tea pots and one tester can just by one testing can determine that which garden stage is belong, it belongs. So it is like that. The news, you throw up information, you, you are having uh, all the time. The news is coming from different places and you have to know that what is news and what is not. Which is printable, which is not. So whatever information you receive, these are all not news. News is definitely is information, but all information is not news. So, Regarding pick and choose, you have to train your mind, you have to train your sixth sense, you have to develop your sixth sense, what is news and what is not news, what you will throw away and what you will accept. Because something will come to you on your, on their own, you may reject it, it is not news because they are coming to, to, uh, to you, but you are rejecting them because as they are not news. And, but you are after that information which people are trying to hide, they are not disclosing it, they are not they are not giving it to you and you have to get it out, you have to invest in it and you get the news which the people wanted to hide it. That is called, that is news and that is the job of a reporter. Now that is new sense you have to develop first. That's a new sense is in a sense just, just a sensitivity in your mind from which you can discriminate what is news and what is not news. It's like smell, we call it just, just to smell a rat, just to smell the scent of, of flower, that type of sense of news you have to develop yourself. By seeing it, by only reading one paragraph, or even not one paragraph, one line, you would say, oh, it is news, I will be after it. And then you can gather this news. That is called news sense, you have to develop it. It is another, it, it, it is a sensitive mind you have to be around. And secondly, the, you, are, you have to be aware of what is publicity stunt and what is real news. 
what is real information. Because as a newspaper reporter, your liability and obligation is always to your readers. If your readers, you, you can easily discern that what your readers want. Is this news which my readers want? Because they are purchasing newspaper at cost. So they are, they are, they are purchasing, you are the seller. So if you do not, cannot deliver anything which cannot sell in the market, which has got no demand, definitely people will not accept it. So, so news is not just like covering your white pages by printing anything what you like. So this, 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 this will have to keep in your mind. And this, you have to, because there are many corporate public relations officers, there are many vested interested person, they will try to smuggle out what is not news, publicity stunt, the commercial value which has got only to just to, uh, to in disguise of news. That is called surrogate news. And they will try to pass it on, on you. And you have to be very aware of that. And you have to you have to discard all those rubbish and you have to collect the real news. And this discrimination uh, you have to make and you have to be very much aware of it and what is news and what is not. And that is that is why you must have clarity in the mind. Because news must be simple. Because people you are addressing, who are your audience? Your audience is mostly the ordinary people, those the, who are the majority? The majority people are only up to class 8, class 9 or matriculate standard. They are, the, they are your readers. Your readers are not uh, readers of very complicated novels. You, your readers are like ordinary persons. They own, they, you have to keep in touch with their sentiment and psychology all the time. So you have to choose in that way and you have to see the world from their points of view. Not from your point of view alone but from their point of view of your readers. Thirdly, use accuracy. You have to be very cautious about accuracy. News must be correct. Otherwise, if news is not correct, your paper will be denounced. Your paper will be condemned by people. Even they are maybe attack on, on the newspaper office. Or maybe they would be filed a suit in, in the court of law. And you, you will be in very difficult position. So they must be accurate. Accurate. So the accuracy is the keyword, the buzzword in news. You have to all the time you have to guard error. So and must afford accuracy. And the objectivity is another thing. You must cannot be biased. The report, the report must be not only correct but also objective. That means it's neutral. You cannot uh, uh, be partial. You cannot favor one party and disfavor another party. You have to judge equally. You are the judge on the seat of judgment. So that is why you have to keep in mind. And alertness is the another key word for the reporter's qualification. Alertness, you have to be always alert. <coughs> you do not know when the news breaks. You do not know that it, 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 it suddenly it may happen that it at the fall of a hat, the news may come. Or sometimes you, it's just like angling, an angler in the tank, you see, hours after hours he sees for fish, and it is people are like that. He will, he will have to <coughs> very cautious, very alert, and when any slight inkling of news, he will be sensitized. Automatically, he, he is made in that way. And, uh, speed, which is very much necessary. You see, I have said that in the classrooms, they, when I give dictation to the students, the students cannot follow it. So they ask question, ah, what's that, what's that? So it is not like that. I say to them, especially even in journalism class, I have said that when I give dictation, the students cannot follow it. Sometimes ask, ah, what do you want to say, what is the last word? So, because a, a journalist, a reporter, has to take dictation all the time. And that dictation, nobody gives no dictates to him. He will address a, 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 
a, a, a news source or a chef of take for instance the minister whenever he gives statement in press conference or in his, in his chamber he and never repeats what our statement in gypsy gives and but if someone uh, any very important person to speech from the pulpit he does not stop he gives continuous and you, you have to keep pace with him you have to accurately write nowadays tape recorder has come but tape recorder you cannot move with tape recorder only the television people can use that because it, it helps them. But for print recorder, tape recorder does not have any place. You see, because you find that speech, the, you, after that meeting you go to the office and you just open, you operate the tape recorder and this tape recorder you, you, will, you will play back and get notes and then, you see, it, it takes a lot of time. You see, one, one hour, one, two hours will spend on that only just to only uh, recouping uh, the, the news from the tape recorder. But if, if time will not, uh, right, will, will not provide that. Nobody will give news uh, some time. You have to come from the field immediately, you have to write down your phone. See, sometimes it can be happy, I know. I can give you some, one or two instances that when uh, uh, once upon a time, but there was, I think now, now the technology has advanced, now the uh, cell phone, in our time the cell phone was completely unknown to me. After even uh, the fax was unknown. Uh, the, only, only the, the old method, we, you will be surprised to know the story talk uh, is the uh, most mass scope. That, that used to be the only way of sending news. But that used to be out of order most of the time. So it, it is a it is a long, long story, a very funny story. So in that way, very difficult. And sometimes I, I can remember that I went to Tripura to Mahabharata and there are three or four rivers uh, at the time. Now is everything, every river has been bridged. There is no bridge at the time. And you have to ferry. So uh, and you have to keep that uh, hand over this news to the pilot of the plane. The only one in the morning and one in the afternoon, two flights are there and you have to, by five, five o'clock, you have to hand over your copy to the pilot and ask them to just go and to the Calcutta when you are in Calcutta. You please telephone this office, our office and officer will collect it from you. But this, this, they are very courteous and they used to comply with all our requests. So there is no problem about that. In that way, in 1971, Bangladesh war story, we used to send by uh, with the help of those uh, pilots. Uh, there, there's no, no no connection at the time. So, but you see that how we have to work with the speed. There is no time at all. So, on the bank of the river, waiting for the ferry, we have to write four or five paragraphs of one or two pages. So, by crossing four rivers, we have to finish all your stories on the bank of the river. So there is no time, no, thing, no, no time for writing, no time for thinking. The only time you have to write. So this is speed is necessary nowadays. And how you can, uh, especially television, the what, how speed you want. Now I can remember that at that time I was working for a weekly, I was working for a weekly newspaper. But the, I was working for a weekly newspaper. I, I, I went uh, with Mrs. Gandhi on, the, on her world tour to cover your whole Europe. And I used to have place that because I don't have uh, any deadline to cross. I, whenever I go back, I might have right. But take for instance the agencies. Now they will have to say they don't have any time. It's full packed up program of Mrs. Gandhi. And they have to cover every moment. They have to cover, they cannot, can, they cannot leave that place and they have to send the news to, to India, to the headquarters. So how, how speed is necessary in such circumstances and you can well imagine. So if you want to join newspaper, if you want to become a reporter, you have to work and because reporting is history in Hari. So you have to carry with the history. 
you have to keep yourself conformity with the history. So you have to write it that way. Now again, the punctuality. Again, give that you cannot miss a second to attend a place, to attend a meeting, attend a press conference, to attend, attend a speech. Now, if take for instance the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, is speaking, and it's very important speech he has already made, and you come in the midst of the speech, but the, whatever news portions he has already finished in the beginning, and how what for you do? If you ask any other fellow reporters, they will feel disturbed. You see, in profession, nobody, nobody favors nobody. See, because every, everybody is rushing, so they, there is no time to hear, to listen uh, from your fellow. So you will miss them. So definitely, you have to be dependent on uh, agency story. Whenever you go back to the office, you will ask for the agency stories and you compare yourself what you have missed. But this is uh, aggressive. This is not done. Actually, for a good reporter, this is not the idea. So, be patience, another thing for a reporter. You must have patience. Now, sometimes you have to wait three hours, four hours, five hours. Now, you don't have to go to the canteen to have a cup of tea. And you are waiting, waiting, waiting because you know, this cabinet meeting is going on inside the chamber. And if you miss any time, if you go to uh, canteen to, to have a cup of tea. If, when you come back, you find that the uh, minister cabinet meeting is over and the briefing is going on. Then you will miss it. Uh, a, so the patience you have to you have to keep yourself waiting and patience training you have to take from the very beginning. And fearlessness you have to be very fearless. You see, if you uh, are afraid of dying, then you cannot. Die. Then you cannot be a reporter. There are lots of lots of reporters have been killed in the field. Now in Iraq, in Egypt, in uh, Iran, look everywhere the reporters are killed. You see in that. And uh, I know in my story that many times I I, I, I was very uh, barely saved from being killed. Now in 1971 when we were going to Dhaka from Chitaka from Chanku. You see, our, our, our steamer was saved and we were just about to be drowned into, into river Mecca. So, how were we able to escape? But <coughs> we were not afraid. We knew that it is our destiny. It is a part of our game. It is like soldiers. So, reporters must be like soldiers. They have to be dauntless, fearless and they have to, whatever will come, they have to cover riots, they have to cover insurgency, they have to cover war and they have to even, even if you write a story against against wounds, against the mafias, the mafia will kill you. Then one uh, gentleman few, few, few years back, he was murdered in Bombay, uh, you know, that he he was he was uh, covering uh, uh, the inside story of the mafias, Bombay mafias, dons, and he was killed. So in that way, it is in the game. So it, nobody will compensate that. So it is your game. You have to know that what is awaiting you. And uh, that is why you have to be very tactful. So tactfulness is another criteria. Another criteria is diligence. Means you have to work very hard. You have to be very study. You have to uh, wait. You have to be up to patience. And you, know, you, you must have diligence. Otherwise, you cannot succeed in, in reporting game. Now, and another thing is the team spirit. Reporters sometimes you have to work in tandem with, uh, with other fellow reporter or in group with others. Now, it is like the relay race. Now, relay race, one cannot claim the entire credit. The, the credit is divided among the, all the all the part, all the runners. So, it is like that. So, you have to form a team and uh, that team uh, will uh, work and the credit you have to you have to be distributed among you and the team. So you cannot uh, snatch away, you cannot steal the march, you cannot snatch away the credit. You have to give credit because you know that you have to work in team, otherwise you cannot succeed in that game. And you have to be well read person, well read, reading, reading habit. 
the because reporters you do not know what type of reporting you talk about. Sometimes very uh, important persons come. Now sometimes they are very uh, literature, sometimes very uh, good cricketer, sometimes very good statesman, sometimes a very big poet we have to interview. And unless you have read the poem of that particular poet, unless you have read the latest novel, unless you have you have you have read the latest book uh, 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 which has uh, which has been very bestseller. So you will be completely, you cannot ask any question. And even when you are in the group, when among your peers, and sometimes may, one may ask, the, pose the questions, or any, any, um, uh, any, any, any story about that particular subject comes out, and you cannot answer, you cannot, you cannot participate in the discussion, it cannot participate in the debate. So, definitely, you, your prestige will be completely at stake. So you have to be very, very uh, readable person and well read person, and, and responsibilities you have to take. The report which you have published, once published, you cannot take it back. Either it is good or bad, or error, erroneous or right. You have to take responsibility of the report which you have submitted and published. And either you may face the big bag or you face the honor, everything is your due. You can say you cannot uh, impose the responsibility of uh, the dark side of your report on others. You cannot do that. You have to face your responsibility. And uh, self-discipline, first of all, that is it, it, it is a it is a profession which has got a lot of allurements. Many people will try to allure you, many type people will try to bribe you, many people will try to manipulate you. So a lot of pressures will come to deviate you from your path of objectivity. So you have to withstand all, the, all those barriers. And that you said discipline, there is a lot of uh, uh, corporate persons of their own interest, they will try to inhibit you. They will try to offer you, uh, make you drunk. Uh, they will uh, offer you prizes. They will offer you gifts. So you have to just to manipulate that news to, to their favor. It is that it is their job. So, but you must not trap. Must not fall into the trap. So uh, you have to be really cautious with that. And that is why self-discipline is very well necessary. And uh, last part, not the least, that you think you have to be mobility, you have you must have mobility and you will be outgoing. That means what, what does it mean? That you have to go anywhere, you see. Sometimes you are going to the mountain uh, to accompany a mountaineer. It has happened to many reporters, I could paint a mountain here and, and went up to the base camp, uh, braving the, all those hazards a uh, mountain here is having. Now, sometimes you have to go to the jungle to meet with, with a uh, insurgent. Sometimes you have to be, be in the war. Sometimes you are in the five star hotel. Sometimes you are in the desert, sometimes you, you are living in the hosti overnight to, to know the, uh, to more closely the people living there. Or you may, uh, many, many, many times we, I have had that such experiences. Now, anywhere I have sent, there is no admonition at all that we have to stay at the park or in a railway station, we have to spend the night. Did not have any food properly. Because you know, this is a place, this is a place, very horrible place there sometimes. Now, I went to jungles, I went to uh, war, uh, many places, many hazardous places I do. But at the same time, I have to have very good places. I, 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 I have seen the world many times. I have seen the, most of the beautiful hotels in the world and stayed there. 
So it happens any time you don't know, but you have to be prepared yourself. That is why they have to be mobile. And you have to be very fond of touring, very fond of traveling. The travel and tourism is the must. It, it completely you cannot uh, discard. You cannot. Uh, those people, there are people who are very, very fond of living inside the room. They don't move out. They, they cannot take any hazard. So the, it is, deputy is not, is, is not the job of them. He they can, can get a test job, can sit in air conditioned office and can edit the copy, which is good for him. But those who would opt to become a reporter, they have to be very prepared all the time. And sometimes you have to move, move with very short notice. Now, just you from the office job, after, after hard uh, days, you uh, go to home and suddenly a telephone call comes from the office. Uh, well, you be ready, you have to start uh, such and such business. And or next morning flight, you have to catch and go somewhere. So you think you, you, you are not prepared mentally, you are not prepared physically, you are a very tired person, but then you cannot ignore it. You have to go. So that is that, that is very little rest you can get for some time. But you have to accept it smilingly and ungrudgingly. And this is called provisions. You know, it is the call of provisions. So you have to accept it. So you, that is why you have to be very flexible in mind. And if you are so flexible, <coughs> if you are honest to yourself, and you enjoy this type of job, only you can be honest. So these are the <coughs> these are the one, and these are the skills of the body. There is no other skill. You equally you have to be intellectually very strong and physically strong and mentally strong. So. If you want to, because a reporter is a combination of, of all types of qualities, idealism, and plus qualities which the profession can offer. So, if you want to become a reporter, you have to be very, you have to be prepared like a soldier. Now, you are a food soldier of the newspaper. So, you are the real newspaper because you are bringing the news, and news, news means the newspaper. And who is the person you are bringing the news? So you are the newspaper also. The, the sub editors who edit the papers at, at home in a cozy room, he is not newsman. He, he although he must have certain news sense, but he is not newsman. So you have to be very cautious of that. And you, this, this is the all theoretical leaps, sir, but it is all the time, same time, is a practical hints right, we can give you through this session that you will be prepared to become a reporter and you will know at least that what the job of the reporter. Thank you very much for this evening and uh, I hope that we, whatever you read as a student, it will inspire you to take to the profession because our object as a mass, mass communication uh, uh, teacher just to inspire you to be into the profession and assimilate all the nuances and all the plus and minus points to be aware of, of this profession from behind from the front so that you can at least you can you can say that yes we are prepared to go. We know it's pros and cons, we know it's good and bad. So we have all knowing all the oil, we have come to the Thank you.